Ooh, check these out. So unless you guys have kind of been sleeping under a rock, at least in regards to the um, tiny micro drone community, these things are like known as tiny whoops. Uh, these things, these hovercrafts have been like going crazy. Like these look super fun. Now, full credit goes to the original guy who like, I think first did this. I think his name is like Alex from Badass Drones or something like that. I'll put a link down below where you can check it out. Uh, but he made these hovercrafts using the parts from these guys. And I thought that was super cool, and I really wanted to do my own twist on it, like one involving a skirt. Now, I've seen one other one run around with a skirt, and that one looks pretty cool, too, so you should check out that one below as well. But I wanted to do a 3D print one where I would, like, do another revision with the skirt design I did, like, on my other hovercraft in the past. So, I made these! Good thing they're just zip tied on. So that's pretty much it for the uh, simple hovercraft build. Now to answer a few questions, I'm probably gonna go over a few notes with you. This one that was using the little mini build montage you just saw was using the cheap little E-Sheen flight controllers. These are like the really cheap toy quads like this guy. Now, I do have a whole size for the Inductrix slash like, um, like the footprint of these little rectangular boards. A few notes with that. Now, if you do the motor installation for that one, you're gonna need to actually flip-flop the motor or assignments. For this one, you just build it exactly as you see on the quad. So, basically, if you tear the entire quad apart, your motor wires will go exactly where you put them. So, left one goes to the front, and yada, 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 and so on. But the different, difference with this one is the uh, yaw function, the thing we use to steer. 
is actually backwards. So if you were to actually try to do the same thing you did over here with this one, it would just spin out of control, it would be out of control and not work. So you have to take the uh, rear motor and hook it up to the front spot. Now the flight controls are oriented the exact same way they are in the quadcopter drone thing. You don't need to change that. The only thing you do is you just uh, switch, switch the motor's wires from the rear one to the front and the front one to the back and that's just about it. They work great. Um, the skirt one does do a little bit better for getting over some uneven terrains and whatnot. But the elastic one will do small things like extension cords and whatnot. This one is just better for getting over carpet and taller bumps and stuff. Now I will include uh, two skirt frames because I this is like the um, higher lift one to get you over like higher obstacles. I think the highest thing I think it was cleared was probably around half an inch. So that's kind of high for a tiny hovercraft. So you download those and print them. Uh, I think that's enough rambling for now. Let's actually go test these things out. These things are sweet. I think Sam's building one too, so we'll see what, what he's up to with his. Oops. Hey Sam, my hovercraft's done. I made We're mine here. too. Oh, that's what you made? Yeah, look at that. Very good, Rachel. Noll. Check this out. Look, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, if I knew you were doing that, and everything. I would have made mine look a little cooler. It's not too late to make improvements. But hey, um, I'm not really sure what we should do with these. So, you just think we should do like a cool montage of the things and stunts we come up with. Montage. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh. Yoink. Actually, we need to glue it on now. Well, I'm not really sure where we're going with this video, but it did snow outside last night. So you know what the opposite of snow is? What? Gasoline. Fire? Oh, whatever. You know what I mean. Okay. Uh Well, that was fun. 
But before we get into details of how to print this and some of my other findings involving this hovercraft, I'd really like to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. Audiobooks are great for helping you be a better you. Whether you want to feel healthier, get motivated, or learn something new, I'm working on being more successful this year. So I'm listening to titles such as The 4-Hour Workweek, How to Be a Boss, and especially titles on public speaking. I'm planning on doing a few talks this year, so Talk Like Ted is something that will help me get over one of my greatest fears. Audible lets you switch seamlessly between devices, whether you're listening on your phone, through your car, or from a tablet, or at home on an Amazon Echo. You can listen to tons of books while doing almost anything. Plus, once you get your book, it's yours. You can go back and re-listen to it at any time. So if you want to try Audible and support my channel, start your 30-day trial and get your first audiobook for free. Go to audible.com slash petersreeple or text petersreeple to 500 -500. And that's it. Uh, let's wrap over. Let's wrap up some details involving these things. Okay, so for those of you that are actually gonna print this, um, I printed pretty much laying down the printer. Most of the prints are just, uh, you know, just laid down for best orientation. Uh, the infill level, the only thing that really gets infilled is the cockpit, and that's set to about 20% infill. Uh, it's printed in PLA. I think you can probably do some other materials, but um, PLA is like the cheapest thing, and it's super common. And these hold up just fine, so I wouldn't even worry about trying anything else. Now you do get uh, three different skirt layouts. I'm using the um, skirt number two if you download the files you'll see it so you can fit this one out you can also use the plastic one or you can run it without a skirt because you don't really need it also mega thanks to newbie drone and tiny Moot for sending me the parts for these builds now running on water was something interesting when we did this uh you're gonna have some fun effects of that i really don't recommend you drive it over anything deep because the hovercrafts do sink and if you do run this in the water i recommend coating the board in something like corrosion x or some sort of a uh, some kind of water dispersant or something so they don't get ruined. Because the most part, you can just dry these things out and they work just fine. But we were testing this in fresh water when these things were sinking. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to go to audible.com slash Peter Sheeple or text Peter Sheeple to 500, 500 And that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.